Today's video is completely different than any other video that I've ever created. I really wanted to challenge myself in today's video and in today's video, like you see, I'm actually challenging myself to do 100 push-ups for 30 days. So it's a 30 day challenge I gave myself because I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I just never really committed to it. And I think making a video and documenting it and really tracking my progress really helped this whole process out. So I'm really excited to bring you guys today's video. This is actually what I look like on day one. And it's not that I'm disappointed in my body or I don't like my body. It's that I really wanted to challenge myself. The biggest thing out of this was challenging myself. And first thing you'll notice is that my form on these push-ups was not good whatsoever. So I started out in a terrible position, didn't really have strength or endurance during this beginning time. But I mean, eventually got stronger throughout this whole process. So this is what this video is. It's the whole process of me starting this journey of 100 push-ups for 30 days. And you can see the progress of my strength, my physique, my endurance, and just my overall attitude in life. So that's day one. One thing you'll notice in the beginning of me doing these push-ups is that my form was terrible. I didn't go low enough. I didn't really have good range of motion when I was doing these push-ups and I didn't have that much strength. One thing you'll notice throughout this whole time is that my form gets better, my strength gets better, and my endurance gets even better. But overall, I didn't do this so that I could just look better. Like that wasn't the number one reason. Of course, you wanna look good. Number one reason why I challenged myself was so that I can be committed to something for 30 days and not give up. Because holding yourself accountable can be so hard sometimes. So last night I actually did my seventh day. I almost missed doing my push-ups last night, but I did them. Today's gonna be the eighth day. I'm about to do my push-ups right now. So I've already done 700 push-ups so far this whole week. I don't think I've ever done that before. I'm super proud of myself, but I'm about to knock out these push-ups and I have three more weeks to go. I've been able to only do 50 in a row so far. I noticed that my head is dipping on some of these push-ups. I'm gonna slow it down, get better form, even if it takes more sets. So this is when I really started focusing on my form and making sure that I was getting good range of motion because what's the point of doing this if I'm not actually doing my best? So this is when I really stepped it up and started doing my best on these push-ups. Not only am I doing 100, but I'm doing 100 good push-ups. Now, another thing I want you to notice is my facial hair. This is another thing that I was tracking this month. I didn't shave this entire month, and you'll see what, how that turned out after this whole experience, because me, I have like a baby face. For some reason, I just don't really grow facial hair right now. Um, I'm sure I'll grow some in the future, but as far as right now, I do not grow a whole bunch of facial hair. I tested to see if doing these push-ups would boost testosterone and actually promote facial hair growth. And I did that whole testing and like I said, you'll see that um, towards the end of the video. The easiest way for me to actually get through these push-ups was to have something to watch or have something to listen to. So I'd usually get something I like to watch on YouTube. Um, some people I like to watch on YouTube is Tiny Home Big Living, I think is what it's called. I like watching builders, I like watching home stuff, I like to watch Get Hands Dirty, and I like watching DIY Creators, and I also like to watch Montel Fish and uh, As Said By Me and stuff like that. So these are some channels that I like to watch when I'm doing stuff like this. And um, another thing was just drinking a bunch of water. I'm halfway through the four weeks or the 30 days, it's been two weeks, it's been 14 days. I guess I'm one day off from 30 days of being half. But, I think this whole time, I've been wrong with my facial hair girl. Um, I feel like that has a lot to do with like testosterone, like especially like working out or doing something. So I'm getting facial hair growth, just trying to get the whole experience. Um, seeing what I gained from doing 30 push-ups, besides a bigger chest and bigger triceps. I could say from my experience of two weeks, that, I mean, I'm already getting a lot of results. I get pumped really big after doing the push-ups. Throughout the day, I still look good. My arms overall are bigger. Um, my biceps are lacking a little bit. 
just because this is a tricep workout mostly. And um, chest is improving. The chest was the number one thing for me that was hard to grow when I worked out. And I think push-ups actually does a great help um, with this whole process. But overall, my structure, my physique does look a whole lot better after doing push-ups for two weeks straight. Triceps are definitely like bigger, which is awesome. And from my experience, push-ups aren't really getting easier for some reason. I can say that it's easier to like, you know, finish them and not be as wore out. But I can say that mostly the biggest difference I feel is actually being able to activate my chest while I'm doing push-ups. So I feel like now is gonna be the biggest transformation in these next two weeks. So this is a halfway update and I'm gonna finish strong. Another thing that I like to do, which I'll explain more in this video, is anytime I was around my friends and say I didn't do push-ups that day, I would make myself do push-ups in front of them. So I have these accountability partners. And this is another thing that really helped with the whole process because accountability is a huge thing with something that you're challenging yourself with or trying to commit yourself to. You need someone to be accountable uh, to. All right, yeah, I'm really starting to see the results now. Big time. You can see my triceps really popping. My chest is growing a whole bunch. This is day 22. And yesterday, the thing that sucked is yesterday I didn't do any push-ups because I got really tired at night and I didn't have much time to do it during the day or I kind of just lost track of time. But I did 200 a day back to back. I did two sets of 50. And then after that, I was a little wore out. This is the first time I ever did two sets of 50 though. Um, and then, so I'm, getting, so I'm getting stronger and I have more endurance now. But I mean, you can see that I'm just like growing a whole bunch. Big time. It's crazy. And it's only been 22 days with just push ups. But I did two sets of 50, and then I did a set of like 46. It was like me like burning out, and then I did 29, and then I did 25 right afterward. Look at these results. You can see the chest separation. It's me flexed. Move my chest pretty well. We yeah, got day 22. I'm looking forward to this next seven days because then it'll be 30 days. Let's do it right now. Woohoo! One week left. Let's go. Only seven more days left. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting jack shredded. Look at it. Boom, 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 boom. I know, right? It's for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, 30 days will do it, don't it? All right. You look like you're about to do like some stand on your head type of yoga. I might. I'm wearing a do-rag. Don't let This is around the time I started to experience the biggest changes as far as growth. And I mean, everything just comes with it. The strength comes with it as well, and really just endurance. But overall, just getting to this stage, knowing that I'm already halfway there, or even past halfway, that I can actually stay committed to something and get it done. Now I am. <laughs> Six more days left. So here's another time of me being with the guys and just asking one of them. This is Taj, by the way. I was like, yo, let's do some push-ups. And 
he agreed to do some and we knocked some out together. And Chandler was filming, but then he ended up actually doing push-ups immediately afterward. And it's stuff like this that really encourages you to keep going and helps you out, helps you to stay committed to something that you're trying to accomplish, especially when you have people that are into the same thing that you're doing or are basically cheering you on along the way or helping you out. Okay guys, so I've been updating you lately on the whole progression, but on this part, I'm just gonna show you what I look like before doing the push-ups and then how it looks immediately after doing the push-up. So I'm just gonna show you what I look like right now. So this is basically what you would call, you know, before getting a pump. And so this is me, I guess you would call flat, or, you know, before workout, you can see that my triceps aren't really popping, but I mean, they are bigger than what they had, they were for sure. Chest is definitely bigger. It's, I would say more formed. You can see the definition a whole lot better, but this is what I'm looking like before the push-ups and I'm gonna go do 100 push-ups real quick and we'll see how I look afterward. Okay guys, so this is right after the 100 push-ups. I think the biggest thing is this, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but I mean, you can see a little bit of pump. You can definitely see the tricep pump. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. I think push-ups overall is a real, real huge, like I would say tricep more than chest workout. Also, it does depend on how you do them. But yeah, man. One thing that I have noticed though, 100%, is doing push-ups is like a very, I would say good exercise besides being a workout. What I mean by exercise is, this is what I mean by exercise. I guess one thing that I've noticed is that it helps you get in shape. It, I would call it an accessory to getting in shape. I wouldn't really say this is like the main source of cardio, but you do get cardio in it depending on how you do it. But I would say, yeah, yeah, you could see, you could see a pump for sure. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely see a pump. I definitely want to, you know, Bring out the definition in my chest, that's the number one thing. Definitely wanna make my chest wider. And I'm getting there, I only have five more days left. And I'm looking forward to seeing this all the way through. All right you guys, I think today I only have three more days left of push-ups. So I'm starting my last 300 push-ups, if you look at it that way. I can't believe I did a whole month. It's like, I remember I tried to start this before and I just couldn't stay committed. And I think the biggest way to stay committed is to hold yourself accountable. And the easiest way to hold yourself accountable is to have that sheet and have it like kind of somewhere where you can see it. And always remind yourself and have people keep you accountable as well. What, what I do is like you've seen a few clips that it's like when I'm around my friends and I haven't done push-ups that day, I'll say, anybody wanna do 100 push-ups with me? And then we do the push-ups. Maybe they'll do 40, maybe they'll do like 20, but still it reminds you to do your push-ups. So I'm about to knock out. Uh, 100 right now and then I'll have 200 left after today so I'm super stoked and the results are like you can tell a huge difference not only with the way you look but with your strength and how you even out because I know beforehand my physique was a little crooked and what I've told a lot of people is that push-ups actually kind of correct your posture as far as your the way your physique looks you know a lot of times you can't tell but one shoulder may be higher than the other and that's how my physique was. So it's evening out with push-ups, and I'm super stoked about that. And I'm looking forward to actually doing free weights and going to the gym after doing this 30-day process to see what I can add on to after building this foundation of just push-ups. I'm gonna knock out this 100 right now. Okay guys, today marks day 30. I haven't done a push-up yet today, but so far I've done 2,900 push-ups. So after today's push-ups, I'll have 3,000 push-ups in the bag and then 30 days, so 3,000 push-ups in 30 days. Could have, could have obviously done more. I did do more than 3,000 because that some days I would do maybe like 20 extra or you know 50 extra. So not every day I was doing exactly 100. I was typically doing 100 or more. Um, a little over 3,000, but today is the final day of counting. I'm obviously gonna keep going because this is something that I've already built into a routine. And I just wanna constantly do it. It's something that's already in my daily routine that works out fine for me. And I think it's good for me and it uh, helps out a whole bunch. So I'm just gonna knock out these push-ups, and then I'll show you guys the final results of 30 days. And I'm super excited to show you guys the big difference that this made on my life. 
I would say on this past week, I've really been focusing on my form and really focusing on like slowing down and pacing myself versus trying to get there really quick because I know that form plays a big factor into how the form of your body actually looks. So really pacing myself, taking it slow and maxing out for sure. But I just knocked out 44 right there. So typically what I do is I max out on all these all the way to 100. And because I haven't given myself a rest, I haven't really built up the endurance to do a full set of 100, which I mean, when I used to work out all the time, I used to be able to do 100 uh, straight. If I were to give myself rest on push-ups, because typically you don't want to hit chest every single day or you know triceps every single day. So once I give myself a rest and then come back at it, I'll definitely have more endurance on actual an actual set. Because I do know that your muscle and your body can take whatever you basically put on it. So if you train yourself to train chest every single day, your body's gonna get used to that. But in between sets, I have been, you know, being able to catch my entire breath. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't give myself a bunch of time in between sets, but I give myself enough time so that I'm calmed down versus like, you know, breathing hard or like my, you know, muscles are taxed or anything like that. But like right now, I'm at a pretty good state to go back in because I still am like kind of worked up into it, but I'm not like, you know, exhausted. So I make sure that I get some energy back because you don't want to fully recover and then do the push-ups again on the same day. You want to, you know, do the sets relatively close. So that's 75 right there. And then on this next one, I'll be able to knock out 25 straight in a row. All right, y'all, last 25 of the 30 uh, days of 100 push-ups right here. Whoa! Completely done. Did 30 days of 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups for 30 days. Just completed right now. Like I said, I'm gonna keep going. We keep working out right now. I kind of feel more free to do, you know, other workouts, free weights and stuff like that. But I'm gonna mark off the last day, day 30. That's why I gave plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, and then onward. Because I do plan on going further with this. It feels good to accomplish this because I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. But I'm gonna show you guys a physique because that's, I think what you guys have been waiting for. My Afghan is filming this for me, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm taking my shirt off so you guys can see, and let's see what it looks like. You can see a big difference. Um, I started getting stretch marks on this, you know, right side of my chest. Can't really pick it up on camera, but I started getting stretch marks, so that's cool. It shows that I'm growing, but you could definitely see the difference. Okay guys, I wanted to show you guys my facial hair after this whole process of the whole, you know, 30 days, 100 push-ups. And this is the most facial hair I've ever had. And I've, I've not shaved my face for a long period of time. Probably even longer than how long I've let it grow out this time. But this is the farthest it's ever came down. And this is only a month. And this is me coming from a baby face and uh, not being able to grow any facial hair whatsoever to, you know, I think really just boosting testosterone. Um, not literally like the actual testosterone, but like boosting it naturally in yourself um, with working out, doing what you would say manlier things. Like pretty interesting to see this because this is the most facial hair I've ever had. Um, my mustache is getting thicker, which my mustache is typically thin. Uh, my chin hairs are getting thicker as well. And um, this is the thickest my chin hair has ever been. And this all just is an experiment to see how it all went. And I'm gonna grow this a little bit longer. I'm gonna keep on growing it and see how it turns out over time. Um, just to see how it goes. Um, see if it keeps on growing, because I'm gonna constantly work out and just see the whole progress of that. And then one of these days I'm just gonna clean shave everything and then keep it clean shave for a while. But it was cool doing this experiment with facial hair, tying it into doing push-ups, because I don't really see many people doing that. But this is, what, like I said, the final result. 
And the final result of the push-ups was an awesome experiment. I'm, I'm really glad that I did it and stayed committed to it because it really changed my perspective on certain things about myself. And I really want to continue working out and live a healthy lifestyle. Not only just working out, but actually eating healthy and everything like that. Because a lot ties into your health and I'm trying to last long. Like I'm trying to be here for quite some time. But if I can manage my health, I'm going to do everything I can possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed creating it for you guys. It took over a month to create. So hopefully you guys really did enjoy it. I put a lot of effort into it. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.